Hi, I'm Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer. In this clip, Coach Mendo, who runs quick handle basketball training, shares what he believes makes a great coach. And my acronym for coaching is my three P's. The first one is personality. Okay. You got to have a personality. Something that attracts people to you. That, that people know that you have the kind of body language that people can say. You're believable. Because once you're not believable, you're done. So there has to be some charisma in your personality. Um, you you got to be outgoing. You got to be you got to be interactive. Um, for me, I'm a very touchy person. I believe uh, physical contact is so important in building relationships and communication. That's just me. And one of my acronyms is INSEPT. And, and what that stands for is when you meet anybody, you should have intelligence. Intelligence so that you come across as being somebody that has some knowledge. And you've got to be nice. Nice to people all the time. S, you have to smile. Smile at people. Engage with people. E, you always got to edify. Edify and build up. C is care. You have to care. Really show that you care for somebody. So it's one thing to be nice, but really care. How can I help you? And then, and then, uh, what was the last one? T. T is you have to touch. Touch. So all of those elements in insect you got to do. I try to do it anytime I'm engaging with somebody. Yeah. But back to my, back to my piece. So the first one is you got to have personality. Second one is you got to have philosophy. A philosophy. Mm. A philosophy that again people believe in. And on the basketball court, you know, you're going to be believable when you can present stuff to people. Who's like, what is this? You got to, you got to have a strategy. What? And basically, for me, it's you got to create an element of surprise for your opponent that they're not ready for, and you have to be ready for anything that anybody can throw at you. So that's how I teach my players. I teach my players that whatever zone you see, whatever thing you're ready for, because you've been prepared. That's just how I do it. I, and, and I really, and then secondly, we're never, we're never going to be the same. You're, you're going to see something different. You better be ready. Just when you think, oh, we're a small, slow team, we're going to trap you all over the floor. So we're going to do un unorthodox things. So you have to have a really good philosophy. And that really takes time, learning, and being mentored. And then the last P is you got to have passion. You've got to show that you really have passion, that you're really engaged, and you really care about the process and that you're willing to put in the time to work, right? You know, I, I try to tell people all the time that I, I want to say that nobody worked harder than I did as a player. And that now, as a coach, nobody is going to outwork me as a coach. And then as an athlete still, even at my age, there's nobody that can outwork me. 35? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> but but that's why I train so hard right now is because I, I just I, I have a bar that's set and I want to be that example in the best way that I can that I hope will translate. Not for any ego fulfillment, but it's always about the kids and it's always about empowering. So So did you like that? We've got a lot more mental game tips and strategies for youth athletes. Get on our training series list by entering your email in the sign up box at teenmentaltoughness.com. And just to get you started, you'll get my guided visualization, Master the Pressure, and an ebook, How to Be a Great Sports Parent. Go to teenmentaltoughness.com now.